Hey guys, just wanted to uh, kind of go over a project uh, I'm building. This is a part of a rooftop dome cam. Uh, I say rooftop dome cam because I'm going to put on the roof of my storm chasing vehicles a dome cam. It's going to be up on top, uh, magnetically mounted on top of that vehicle, and it's going to be used to track severe storms. I'm trying to do this as simple as possible. I've got a, a Mercury motor, uh, picked it up through eBay, Spark Fun sells the exact same motor. It's a four-wire four bipolar motor. I have that connected to an Easy Driver. You see the four, over here you see the four motor m wires coming in, the A, B, A and B channels. Here I have the three wires going to, fall it down, comes up. To my control box. And here I have an Uno. Now, what you're seeing, there is a mess of wires, a lot more need to be here, but like I said I'm working on a, uh, I want to make this a little bit fancier than just knob and rotate. I have a rotary encoder that's connected to a SparkFun RGB ring coder. On the front of that ring coder is an L, sorry, called LED graph. The purpose of the graph is to show me the direction that I currently have the knob pointed. Now I want that to correspond to which direction my main camera is pointing. Not life and death. I don't absolutely need that. But what I do need is to be able to rotate the stepper motor with this rotary encoder. Now, I was looking at builder.org. This guy has a lot of good information here. And I see he has information on using the rotary encoder with the Uno. If I scroll down his page, he has it's the sample code. He also has sample code for hooking up the Easy Driver with the Uno. And that is exactly how I have my motor my source and my my microcontroller hooked up. Now he was uh, kind enough that on his in the uh, comment section for what was it the Easy Driver? That he created a sample code, you know, just kind of from the hip there, just uh, threw some code together, said that you know putting the rotary encoder with the Uno with the stepper motor together, you know, merging those two projects should work. Now, from my understanding, the sample codes that I'm seeing is for like a repetitive, you know, prod project. Like you want uh, it to do the exact same movements over and over and over. You know, nonstop repetition of the same. Turn 180 degrees. Stop. Wait. You know, turn clockwise of 70 degrees and just do that same process over and over and over just loop it I need to be able to control that motion to where this motor points the direction I want it and I want it to hold I don't want it to be able to move and that's why in my understanding the stepper motor would be the ideal motor to use the problem is the code I'm using which the website's taking a little while to load Is uh, this is a code he threw together? I had to I had to adjust some of the values because I'd use I'd use different pins on the Uno. As you can see, I'm going to upload the code and show you the motor code uploading uploading motor responds. When I turn my rotary encoder, which I'm going to show you. The motor, you can hear it trying to respond, but all it's doing is shaking. And then if I wait, if I wait, uh, you know, about a, two minutes or so, this stopping, or this, <laughs> sorry, this shaking will stop. 
and it would it'd revert back to the hold state. And right now I can kill, still kind of move it back and forth. It's kind of, it feels like it's just really confused about what it should be doing. The, uh, let me get back to the forum site. Like I said, this is builder. Uh, Builder.org. You just search for the encoder and it'll pop up. Uh, somewhere down in here, somebody mentioned uh, it'd be great to merge these two codes together. Uh, a Meyer, he actually merged the codes and posted the sample. I used the sample and that's what it's doing. Fortunately, I am good, <laughs> fairly good at. Uh, you know, engineering, but the coding is totally my weak point. I'm sure these things, these things have to work together. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, let me scan through the code real quick that I'm currently using. Apologize, let me get that reflection out of there. Easy driver pins, I'm using four and seven. The encoder pins are two and three, and then this is the exact code that is being used. I haven't changed a thing. Uh, Meyer said uh, it should work. It does respond. It's just not responding right. I don't think I'm using anything unique, anything odd. I just don't know what the variable is to change or what code part to correct to keep the motor from shaking. As you see, it stopped. If I go over to my rotary encoder, it wants to spin. It really wants to spin. It just won't do it. All right, I hope you can help me out here. Uh, like I said, I'm over on the Adreno forums and I'm on the the builder.org forums. So I hope this helps. Thanks.